unit, we're going to be looking at some um, tables, graphs, images. So before we start our first one on tables, I wanted to make sure you had some of these definitions. You'll see them a lot. Um, you may have seen them in um, the science section of the GED, but let's go ahead and review them here as well. So mean is the average. So to get the average, we add up all the numbers together and divide by the number of numbers. So if you have five different numbers, you would add all five numbers together and divide by five. Um, median is the middle number. So in order to find the median, we order all the numbers from smallest to largest and we find the number that is in the middle. Um, mode is the most common number or the most repeated number. So if you see the number three, uh, four times, then that might be your mode. Range is the um, biggest number minus the smallest number to get kind of exactly what it sounds like, a range of numbers. Um, so you might be asked to find these in a grouping of numbers, in a table, in a graph. Um, so I want to make sure you have those numbers before we start reviewing some of these tables. All right, so now that you have some of those definitions, let's apply it. So here I have a table. Um, it's important um, as we go into some more of the algebra concepts after this. Um, this will make a little more sense, but I want to point out that tables are set up in X and Y values. And as we get into line graphs, bar graphs, and we start putting these tables into graphs, um, we need to make sure we know that there's an X and a Y value. And again, we'll go into that a little bit more, um, but I want to just kind of introduce that as we go. Each of these are an ordered pair they go together, right? So this has days of the week and temperature. So Monday goes with 75 degrees. Tuesday goes with 68 degrees and so on and so forth. So we wanna use those and um, apply some of the concepts we learned in those notes. So it wants us to find the mean, median, mode, and range of this. So mean, if you remember, you add up all of your numbers and then divide by the number of numbers that you have. So this would be 75 plus 68 plus 78 plus 72 plus 70 plus 77 plus 72, all divided by seven, because we have seven numbers there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that in my calculator. So I'm gonna say 75 plus 68 plus 78, plus 72, plus 70, plus 77, plus 72 is 512 divided by seven will give me 73.1. Sorry about that, 73.1. So if we go ahead, so that's gonna be our average, average of all those temperatures. So then we're gonna go ahead and move on to the median. So median wants us to arrange our numbers from smallest to largest and then find the middle number. So I'm gonna look through here. I'm gonna find my smallest number. So 68 is my smallest number. So I'm gonna put a dot next to that so I know that it's done. Um, the next one is 70. Then 72, 72. So there's two of those. 75, 77, 78. So that's from smallest to largest. So then I'm gonna find the number in the middle. So that middle number is 72. So our median is 72. So mode is the one that is most repeated. Um, so if we look in there, 72 is repeated. So that's gonna be our mode as well. And then our range, to find our range, we take our largest number and subtract the smallest number. So our largest number is 78. We want to subtract our smallest number, which is 68. If we did that, we get 10. So our range is 10. So a mean of 73.1, median of 72, mode of 72, range of 10. And then we also have this question up here. What is the mean of the top three temperatures? So mean 
means average. So what's the average of the top three temperatures? So their top three temperatures, we have those right here because we organized it from smallest to greatest. 75, 77, 78. So we want to say 75 plus 77 plus 78. And since we're finding an average, we need to divide by the number of values that we have. So one, two, three. We're going to divide by three. So again, I'm going to take my calculator and do that. So 75 plus 77 plus 78. On these types of questions, it's really helpful to use your calculator because it saves you a bunch of time. Um, we get 76.6. I'm going to round up to 7. And I hope that you guys are doing that on your calculator as well to get the practice while I'm doing it. Um, and it just kind of helps it all make a little more sense. So in just a second, we're going to do another one of these. So in this one, we have another table. And it says, to get into the school she wants, Dolores must have a mean score of 90% and a median score of 86.5. And we have her grades here, math, science, English, Spanish, and physics. And it says, what is Dolores' mean grade? Can she get into the school that she wants? So remember, mean means the average. So we're going to take all of those scores, add them together, and divide by the number of scores we have. So 90 plus 93 plus 89 plus 96 plus 90 and divide by one, two, three, four, five. So she has five classes. Do that in my calculator. So 90 plus 93 plus 89 plus 96 plus 90. And then I'm going to divide by five. Gives me a 91.6. So, can she get into the score, the school, with that median score? Well, she has to get a 90% or higher, and she's a 91.6. So, the answer would be yes. She could get in with that. So, now the second part says she has to have a median score of 86.5. So, remember, median is the middle. So, we have to take the numbers and um, arrange them from smallest to largest. So our smallest number is 89, 90, 90, 93, and 96. And the question says, how many percentage points above the median does she have? So we're finding the middle number. So in the middle is right here is 90. And the median score is 86.5. So we want to find how far above that she is. So we can subtract them. So we could say 90 minus 86.5. Um, does that in my calculator? 90 minus 86.5 gives us 3.5. So she's 3.5 percentage points above the median. So with these grades, she could get into the school that she wanted. All right, I'm going to give you a couple examples to do on your own, and then we'll come back and review them together. chance to do that. So this table shows the number of bananas the students ate in one week. So we have numbers of bananas and frequency. We can also say this is students. So the frequency would be students. So how many students ate one banana a week? How many of them ate five in one week? Um, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to find that mean, that average. So this is a lot like that second example that we did where we had to multiply before we could divide and add. Because this is saying one student ate zero, six students ate one. So instead of saying zero plus one plus one plus one plus one plus one plus one, we're going to multiply. So we have zero times one 
1 times 6, 2 times 5, 3 times 2, 4 times 7, and 5 times 4. And then what I have to do is add all of those up. So I'm going to say 0 plus 6 plus 10 plus 6 plus 28 plus 20 gives me 70. Now to know what I need to divide by, I need to figure out how many students there are. So how many values do we have? So I'm going to say 1 plus 6 plus 5 plus 2 plus 7 plus 4. And this is kind of a little bit of a tricky question. But if you sit back and you say, okay, what is it asking me? What can I figure out? It makes it a lot easier. So for me, the first thing I did is say, okay, frequency, well, that must mean the number of students. How many students had a frequency of five bananas that week? Um, so we have 25 students total. So I'm going to divide this by 25. It's 2.8. So the mean is 2.8. So students in this class ate an average of 2.8 bananas a week. Um, so then we can go ahead and find the median and then the mode. So if we think back to what median means, median means middle. So we're looking for a middle number. And yes, that means we do have to organize them all from smallest to largest. And that means we have one zero. We have six ones. Five six. We have five twos. Sorry. Um, so we have one, two, three, four, five. We have two threes, three, three, seven fours. And four or five. So I know that takes a little bit of time, but this is the easiest way to do it. And so we have 25 numbers. The middle number is what is half. So it should be about 13. So I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So that means that you should have 12 on this side, 12 on this side. Yeah, perfect. So that's right in the middle. So our median is three. And then mode is really easy on these ones because we just look for the biggest value in our, our, our Y values. So if you look at this, the one that's repeated the most is four bananas with seven. So our mode is four. Um, so these can get a little tricky, but like I said, if you take a step back and go, okay, so what is it asking? It wants an average. Okay, I need to figure out how many bananas were eaten total in the week. Not just there were five bananas by six people. It's there's five times six um, or whatever those values are. So just taking a moment to sit and think about, okay, what is it asking? What do I need? Mark up your table if you need to. Rate students. I I like to mark mine up, cross things out, circle things, whatever. Um, that's going to be really helpful. All right, so let's try another example. The table represents the weight in pounds of 100 computer towers. What is the mean weight for a computer? So we have weight, we have number of computers. I think it's important to note we have 100 computers. So in this one, we don't have to go and add up all the number of computers. Um, so again, we have a mean. It's going to be very similar to the last example where we have 5 times 8, 7 times 25, 9 times 45, 11 times 
18, 13 times 4, and we're going to need to add all of them up. So I'm going to do this on my calculator real quick. 4 times 8. And you should be getting pretty big numbers. Buttons keep sticking. So 13 times 4, 52. So that we need to add all those up. So 40 plus 175 plus 405 plus 198 plus 52 should give you 690 and then we need to go ahead and divide by 100 which should give you 6.9 pounds is your average all right i'm gonna have you guys do one more practice problem Says the temperatures on 20 days in June was as follows. Um, and we have a list of 20 temperatures. So it's important to note there are 20, so we're going to be dividing by 20. And it says what is the mean, median, and mode. So what we're going to go ahead and do the mean, we want to add all of those up together. So I've gone ahead and done that in my calculator already. Um, again, I just added 70 plus 76, added all of these together, and I got 1043. So 1,434, 1, and then I'm going to go ahead and divide by 20 because we have 20 days. And I got 71.7 degrees. So this is going to be our mean. And then we need to find our median and our mode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and erase this. I'm actually going to put mean over here. So we remember it, and then I'm going to go ahead and erase this so that I can go ahead and order all of these from smallest to largest. And as I go, I'm going to cross them out so I remember that I've already gotten those ones. So if I look at all of this, I think 70 is our smallest number. So 70, 70, 70. So we have three of those. Um, then 72, no 73, so 74, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of those. Got a contender for our mode there, <laughs> um, 76, so we have 1, 2, three, four, five of those. And then we have 78, so 78, 78, 78, and then we have 80, two 80s. So we have 20 numbers here. So we have to see where 10 is. So if it's an even number, it gets a little tricky. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is nice because we have 76 and 76. And we need to find what's in between 76 and 76. So we don't have to do that on this one. So our median is 76. Because in the middle of all these numbers, we have 76. And then our mode. So the number that's most repeated, and we can kind of see that here, we have... Um, one, two, three, four, 
Five seventy fours. One, two, three, four, five seventy sixes. So actually, we have two modes on this one. We have seventy four and seventy six. They are both going to be our modes because they both have the same number of values. All right, and so that's it on our tables lesson.